Oh, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps, and today we got our Last Chance You News Roundup. Now, each of these things we're going to talk about in this video is probably not quite big enough to get its own full video. Well, maybe one of them is. Um, Y'all let me know in the comment section once we get there. But I still wanted to kind of make a video and talk about it. The first thing is Last Chance You Season 3 will be held at Independence Community College. Now, I made a video about this, I believe, last week. But at that point, it had not been officially confirmed. But there was a ton of implication that it would now it has been officially confirmed that leaving emcc is going to be at independence community college next year personally i think this is a good thing uh emcc you know it, it could kind of get a little bit stale after a while for the viewers at least and uh, we see buddy was kind of fed up with it and so cool you know go ahead do your thing and we'll kind of go and check out another program. There will be stories there, the same as there was with EMCC. Maybe not as heavily focused on the coach, it just depends on his personality, but they'll still spend a good portion of the season just comparing him to Buddy Stevens because he's the only last chance you coach we've ever known. So, you know, that's what that is. Also, Chauncey Rivers is expected to start at Mississippi State. That's huge, bro. Uh, Chauncey was a beast on the show. And like I've always said, I'm not the greatest judge of talent when it comes to D-linemen. But people asked me who I thought could go pro the other day. And I was like, uh, probably one of them damn D-linemen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because... They definitely look like beasts, and of the bunch, Chauncey definitely seems to be the most talented and also the most versatile. Now, Mississippi State's new defense is going to operate out of a 3-4, but they're going to show different looks at times, which is uh, where they want to use Chauncey's versatility. At around 280 pounds, he'll be able to line up at defensive end in the 3-4, and they can also use him as an interior lineman in a 4-3. Now, he could also play the D-tackle spot sometimes in the 3-4, but because he can line up at multiple spots, um, it should help to make his transition smooth. So we go from that to the last bit of news, and that's another SEC school. Uh, best Chance U, apparently. South Carolina's band recreated the Last Chance U theme song. They kind of parodied the entire thing, like the whole intro, and it's pretty dope. I'm actually going to play that on screen right now. That's going to about do it, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Hit me up in the comment section and let me know if we should do a Chauncey River Spotlight video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. I drop Last Chance U content all the time along with NCAA Football 14 content. Other than that, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Flimmo Raps, one.